Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. Today we're going to do a quick tour and show you some of our berries and vines that we're growing around the homestead. Alright, so about a month ago we showed you a garden tour and then two weeks or so ago we did a orchard tour. So today we're focusing on berries and vines, but we will show you an update, a little bit of the garden and fruit trees. So behind me here is our artichokes and they are now taller than I am. Um, like this one, I'm having to reach up to it. So about like six and a half feet. We've eaten a bunch of these, given some away. So we probably picked close to 20 and I don't know, there's probably 20 more coming right now. So um, let's see, as we look around the garden a little bit, we have our pepper plants, our pepper plants down here. We have nine, I think. So they're coming along. Um, Greenhouse is pretty empty. <clears throat> um, since I showed you last, we do have um, we have planted eggplant inside where it's extra warm, um, and then we just have various other things in here: melons and herbs. And our greens are growing really well. All of our lettuces, kale, cabbage. Onions are coming along good. If you look over a bed, you see we've gotten our tomatoes in the ground. We have, I don't know, close to 30 tomatoes planted this year, lots of varieties. So it is, by the way, it is like May 23rd right now. Okay, May 25th, we are in zone nine. And so about the first week of May is when we can safely put out our tomatoes. So let's keep moving along here. We have our giant pumpkins coming along, uh, Atlantic Giant. We bought these seeds from uh, Baker Creek. So they come from some really big pumpkins, so we're hoping to get some. And. We'll walk by our fruit trees as we get over to our grapes. So uh, last video, I think we did an apple bagging video. So you can see the apples are getting bigger inside the bags there, growing really well. All right, so we have grapes around the border of our deck here. Um, I, most of these varieties, I don't even know. So we have a red variety here that's been here maybe five years. Um, over here we have another red variety. This one I got from my dad and it's probably our favorite. You can see lots of grapes are coming along. This one grows like crazy. So we have a big arbor that we built to put shade for our summer picnics. So this one is just starting out. This is like its second year. It was in a pot last year. We started it from a cutting. Spider-Man, you need to stay out of the video when it's videoing. Okay, this is the Vanessa variety. And then this one is another one just from last year. And I do not know the name of that one. Someone gave it to me. So out of all the one grapes we have, I know the name of one. But that's our grapes. So as we walk by, we did a raised bed video a month or so ago so stuff's growing like crazy so we have our sun chokes here and then two varieties of potatoes coming along here and then we do have some turnips and lettuce and things but they're probably getting shaded out but growing super well and good start on getting this new bed established all right let's move on to some berries All right, so we are to our strawberry bed, which is in the front of our house in an old flower bed. We ripped out the flowers and bushes because we feel like 
it's not super practical we'd rather have flowers that then produce berries so strawberries our green plant with a white flower with red berries we can eat so a lot more practical so we've switched out this bed and Virichka will give you a tour of this so these are strawberries here and they how you know when they're ripe is when they're red and you have to look all over them to see if they're actually ripe but this one isn't ripe this one isn't ripe this one's almost ripe and sometimes bougies will fly down and eat them and make holes in the strawberries one of, one of our favorite strawberries is Albion and here are some other strawberries. They did get uh, some eaten a little bit. It tastes like strawberries. Really, really sweet strawberries. Wanna try? No. We have some squash growing in here. Right here. And we also some, have some flowers right here. They're called Calendria. There's orange and yellow. Okay. We need our tour guides to speak up a little bit. The microphone's got to pick up your voice. Okay. So I think we have Spider-Man is going to show you our gooseberries and you're going to show them how we started some new plants right mm -hmm. okay let's go these are gooseberries and they have spikes on them on the they have like thorns on the stem and uh, they taste kind of sour and they're not ready right now so there's a bunch down here and there's some down here when I like usually um for me, the bottom ones get ripe first because, like, um, when I go, like, when I squish these ones, they're, they're ripe, like, and up here, they're, they're not really, like, when I try, when I, like, I'm trying, like, sometimes I try to see if these are squishy, they're ripe, or, they're, when they're squishy, they're ripe, so I squish these, and they're not, and they're not ripe, and then I squish these, and they're ripe. And yeah. Okay, so the we've had this maybe like three or four years. This Oregon Champion Gooseberry, and this year we tried something um, before it started leafing out. My sweetheart cut some cuttings off and just stuck them in the ground, probably like six, and two of them grew. The rest it appears died, but. So we have two new gooseberry plants. So one is right here, and you can see it's leafed out really nicely, and even has a couple gooseberries on it, which is pretty crazy. First, first year plant, and it already has gooseberries. And then there's another one back over here. This one doesn't have any gooseberries, but another free plant. So that's pretty cool that you can get two out of six, so that's like one third and down here we also did another method so this is a branch that we just um, put down on the ground put a rock on it and covered it with dirt and that one should be growing roots also so then next year or this winter we can cut that off and move it so we're going to try to multiply our plant and have lots more without having to go to the store and buy any okay let's move on to our blackberries okay um so these, these are um, thorn free and they're just starting to flower. They're blackberries. And see, there's no thorns on them. 
and uh, so, and they have been uh, growing, growing for thing. five years, and they're growing, about five years, and they're growing all over the place, and they're above the roof. Yeah, they're getting the good. They're probably gonna go on the roof soon. And, and, and how big do they get? Uh, like, like, show us how big they get, and. Get Tell like us how they taste. They get like big. that big, and they're so good. Yeah, they're super good. They're better than strawberries. Okay, you told us they were like this big around. Yeah. But how no. tall? Oh, oh, uh, how tall they are. Sometimes like. they can be like this. So are they bigger or smaller than the wild ones you find in the woods? They're they're bigger. They're bigger. Yeah, they're bigger. And do they taste better or worse? Uh, I think they just taste the same. I th oh, okay, I think they taste better actually. No, worse. Is it better? No, better. Yeah, is better, it better, better, better. Easier or harder to pick these than the ones in the woods? Uh, well, it's it's harder to pull them off over here, but it's spiky to pull them off in the woods. So I don't know. Oh, but it's nice you can just walk out your door and pick blackberries, right? Yeah. Better than having to go to the woods. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, we have one more patch of berries over here. Almost forgot. Yeah. Oh yeah, blueberries! Blueberries! See? Look! They're still green a little. So, these blueberries were on the property when we moved in. So we've been here quite a few years now, like eight years, something like that. Um, most of these plants were here, uh, but they were out in the middle of where we have the veggie garden. So we moved them one winter over to this little corner. Um, put wood chips down, which helps a lot with the weeds and the blueberries seem to like it. And then we also added one here. This is, this one here, I don't know, some of it doesn't look the greatest, but that one is a pink lemonade variety. The rest of them, I don't know what variety they are, but they are. the rest of them are blue and taste really good. And so I think that's all of our berries, right guys? Uh, no, there, I think there's more blueberries over there. On oh the yeah, end of the we have another blueberry plant over there. But and we have another strawberry, we have more yeah, strawberries. But we already talked about those. Okay, yeah. wait, so, wait, okay let me talk for a few minutes. Okay, so also under these blueberries, we've planted some onions, some lettuce, um, just, just making good use of the space that we have. And I think that's it for today's tour. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, uh, a couple things I should say. Um, we have some, a lot of new subscribers. So welcome to all of you new subscribers. Um, hopefully you learned something. We talk a lot about gardening, preserving food, um, sometimes put a hike video up. Um, so a pretty big variety, mostly probably gardening and homesteading type things on this channel. So welcome. Also we have a few new Patreons, so welcome to you guys also. We really appreciate the support. And we have a few videos coming up, so if you haven't seen it, look back a few videos at our new chicken coop we copied the carolina coops idea and we're actually drawing up some plans in sketchup which we're going to make available to any of our patreons in june so be sure to check that out uh, we didn't video during the build process but i'm going to go back and make videos and kind of just verbally explain and show you how we put that coop together because um, we're getting just lots of comments and questions and people who want to build their own. So probably three or four videos explaining that build process where you can ask any questions you might have. Um, so yeah, that's coming up. We'll probably also do a grafting video soon. Uh, grafting persimmons. We did that last year and we had like three successful grafts. So we'll show you those. Also just show you the process as we do some new grafts this year um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't hit the like button and God bless you all we'll see you next time